Just to get started, what made you guys want to come out and hear Vivek's speech today? Um, I think we're just in curious to see him in person and hear what he has to say. Yeah, I think just to hear what he has to say, there's a lot of buzz going on about him right now and um, just you know, participating in the whole process this year a little bit more than we have in the past. And you say you want to participate more in the process. What's maybe, a, you know, made that initiative for you? I think there's just a handful of people that I'm interested in this year, uh, this go around. And, and so getting to hear them firsthand, see them in person um, was something that we decided we would, we would do this year. And, I mean, it's freezing out. Do you think that's going to deter any Iowans? I don't. I think we're pretty proud of our caucus, and I think everyone will be out tonight. So what issues are most important to you guys when you're listening to these speeches? Uh, border security is my number one. Uh, followed closely by um, education. Same. Do you guys have children that that's maybe a, a top top issue for you guys? We do. Yeah, we have three kids. And so what do you think we're going to see tonight? There's a lot of polling happening. Obviously, Donald Trump's pretty high up in the polls. Do you feel like that's pretty reflective, or do you think we're going to see a mix-up tonight? I think that's pretty reflective. Yeah. Do you guys think, are you guys, you know, diehard Republicans or, or are you kind of, I'm going to vote for whoever is going to be the GOP nominee or are you open at this point to whoever just tickles your fancy at this point? Uh, I mean, we're pretty dedicated, but I, I, I'll, I'll vote for whoever the GOP is. Yeah, whoever wins in the primary will be who we support, 100%. Now, obviously, there's a bunch of national media here today. I'm a lifelong Iowan, but you guys are lifelong Iowans. What do you think is the number one thing that other people should know about the Iowa caucuses tonight? Good people, great state, want what's best for their country. Yeah, I think that's perfect, yeah. All right, I'm here with Brian, who's originally from Fort Dodge, but now he lives in Kansas City, which means you you cannot caucus tonight, but you're right. going to support your sister by babysitting for her so she can go caucus tonight. You're a big Vivek fan. Yes. What made you want to support him specifically? Uh, I just, I like, first of all, that he's not bought and paid for, in my opinion, that he's self-funded. I think that's a big thing uh, in politics that's corrupting everything is, as he'll say today, just... You're at the beck and call of your big donors when, when that's how you operate, uh, which is why I like Trump originally and why I've switched my tune to Vivek for other reasons, that he's younger, he can be a two-term president. Being 38, I like that he's speaking to the next generation, uh, and I just really like that how he speaks and that he's able to have these long-form conversations and debates with people. Love him online, especially love the Q&A and just how he handles the adversity that, you know, we're bound to have throughout this, this political season for the next year. And it seems like he's able to have a conversation about it as opposed to just aggravating everybody, which I think is what we need. Now, you said you formally supported Trump. Obviously, he's leading in the polls in Iowa right now. If he does become the GOP nominee, will you support him again? Absolutely. What do you think differentiates him and Vivek right now? Uh, I think Vivek's got the momentum right now. And just overall, you know, Trump is Trump. He's been a d divisive person for eight years now. And I think that there's a level of, you know, that it's, it's, there's people who just will not support him on both sides. So I'm, I'm for uniting the, the country, uniting the Republican Party. I'm not sh so sure Trump can do that compared to Vivek. Now, you're an Iowan originally. I'm from Iowa. Where what? From? I'm, I'm from Pella, Iowa originally, but now I live here in Des Moines. Now, what do you think is missing from the national conversation about Iowa caucuses ahead of tonight's events? Man, I don't know. It's been. It, I think it's covered pretty well. I, I don't know. I don't. I think what's interesting about the caucuses is, uh, I, I think people don't understand the whole process. I guess and how important it is to Iowans and how fervent they are about it. Um, I don't know. It's kind of a confusing process. So maybe just like overall how it works and how the delegates work and what's like really going on besides just going in and saying, I'm voting for this guy. Like there's a lot more that happens with it. 
well, you're a great uncle to spend time tonight with your niece and nephews, but uh, thank you so much for your time. We are here with Dave and Tim, and they've already got their breakfast. You're ready to settle in to hear Vivek Ramaswamy speak. What made you want to come out this morning, the day of the caucus? Uh, this is about the third time I've heard Vivek, uh, just to support him. I really like what he says in terms of his the truth message and how we need to reduce government, how we need to focus on the things that matter. What about you? I think for me, uh, Vivek's probably my choice, but I haven't, I'm not 100% yet, so I just want to hear him live and hear what he has to say. Are you seeing any other candidates today while they're out doing the last push events? I'm not, no. no. So what do you think, especially you, Tim, what do you think is going to change your opinion as we're kind of leading up to the final hours? I think a lot of Iowans are probably in your seat, too, where they've kind of got to hear those last-minute speeches. What What's going to sway you at this point? I think just more him defining how he's going to, if he's president, if he's elected, how he will how he will govern and how he'll move our country forward. Being, I, want, I want to hear more specifics on that from him. So obviously Donald Trump is pulling really far ahead in Iowa. You know, do you think he has the momentum to take on Biden again? I think the big struggle there is pulling the middle ground. He is alienating. He's, he's creating, trying to create separation. With creating separation, there's no middle ground, in my opinion, that's going to come with him. And I think that's where Vivek's going to step in with the younger generation and with that middle ground, that middle voter that's a little unsure which direction they want to go, but they want something new and different. Yeah, I mean, I would agree. I would think with the younger voter, and if if President, former President Trump can speak to that group of people and, and bring them more along, um, not be as combative, I think, as we've seen in the past, is probably going to help him. Now, we there's a good chance that he could also be the nominee and we could see again a Biden-Trump face-off. Will you support him if he is the GOP nominee at that point? 100%. I supported him the last two times. I like his policy and I think uh, he moved our country forward. Yes, I too. I would support him. Okay, final question, especially for my precinct captain here. What do you think others need to know about Iowa tonight going into the caucuses that maybe they don't already talk about in the national news or maybe they don't already know? Uh, well, it's important. You know, from young to old, everybody needs to get out. It's cold out. I understand that. Ask for some help. Ask for people to get you to the caucus. It's important for your voice to be heard. We had a guy over there who's babysitting for his sister so she can go caucus. Isn't that great? What about you? Uh, I think I was a good representation across the board of uh, conservative, conservative and liberal uh, stances, and I think most of the rest of the country think we're just either conservative or there's only corn here, but there's a lot of good representation across the board. Tim, Dave, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it.